Alright, I decided Lance is probably the best to uh, go for this. I at least think his sub weapon will help me do more damage. I also really like the uh, start of this level. It really helps you get in the mindset of dodging. Except for all these stupid shields. But, uh, you know, it helps you get in that mindset without actually being so hard that you'd actually take damage. So it's pretty nice. And, you know, that'll just help you, uh, get ready for the boss. I think the other levels kind of tried that with the enemies, but... The other boss levels, but... I just thought this one was really successful with that. In the case of... Oh, crap. That was really bad. In the case of the Egyptian thing, though, um, I did not think that did very well, honestly. At, uh, setting the... If it was even intended to do that, but... So now you can see more what I mean now that I don't have a shield. You actually have to move your butt. But they're pretty loose. Oops. As I say as I get hit. That's weird. I never get hit in that. Played this a few more times off screen. I'm pretty sure I can beat it now. It's the final boss. You don't need to see me fighting it 10,000 times. I'm at least fairly sure I can do it this time. Especially if I actually use all of my bombs. Which is always my problem. The problem with this boss is that the final wave's bullet pattern is just beautiful, and I always don't want to use my bomb to wipe it away. And I've honestly died twice just because of that. I did not record those ones, and... If I did that on recording, I would probably not show that, because that's kind of embarrassing. That's weird. You know what? Bomb time. I always think that way is going to be super easy, but I always screw it up, so uh, whatever. Now this way is more like it. They alternate some pretty tight and some pretty casual waves, really. Like uh, that last one. And then there's this. Which is very pretty, but uh, I think I'll probably bomb my way out. Oh. Should have bombed my way out. Are you over? That. Right. This wave, uh, I hate to death. Um, crap. Yeah, he spews up stuff like that. Okay, that's all my bombs. No more bombs. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do this. This wave's not really that bad at all. It's already over. This wave is fucking beautiful. Just look at that. Even if I had a bomb, I would not use it at this point. It's just so pretty. Also die. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. In that in that case, I do think it is fair to kill me after the boss. So I guess I take back what I said about dying after the boss. It does seem kind of fair. Now, give me one of those attack up things that I can use on the boss, please. I do not need any shields. Uh, one good thing I've noticed, the, the uh, power up attack things uh, do last a lot longer than the shields, which is very good. The shields are already lasting too long, but... The attack power isn't like game-breaking, but it's really nice. And it's nice to have it for a little bit. Okay, let's get out of that. How? That was really bad. This way. We can do this without screwing up for once. It's not even that hard. It's just simple weaving back and forth. Ow! And this one's similar, I don't know why I screwed that up. I panicked there, but I got a heart. 
parts for Bennett. And this pattern's just fucking beautiful, but I'm probably gonna get hit. Like that. And this pattern I hate to death. So die. Yeah. I have no idea how it. I have a vague, slight idea of how I would dodge that. And I like this pattern, it's not too hard though. Also bomb. Because I don't want to be using a bomb against the final wave, because it's beautiful, look at this. I just love it. It's so pretty. I also can't wait to fight the extra version of this guy. Because I know it's going to be beautiful. I really like that final boss. That was pretty awesome. Oh, we got an A. <laughs> oh, we got hit five times. That's really bad. I'm surprised that was an A rank, though. Um, now we're gonna do survival. And I will do the last two bosses. I'll make sure I can actually beat these first, though. And I need to reach wave 80 in survival to get one of these badges, so I'll just show you some survival. And now I'm used to being in slow-mo, so... Well, not slow-mo, but in focus mode, so... This feels too fast. Oh, I think I get it. I think you start with, um... With a lowest level of uh, attack upgrades and stuff. Because I should have way better attack. That's a nice balancing feature. Because this way you always have the same exact, uh set of upgrades. Because I was going to say, my um, the first time I played this, the survival, with no upgrades I got to wave 65. It wasn't, um, you know, I didn't, I hadn't beaten the game then, but I guess that's about right if you start out the same always. I figured upgrades would feature into it. I'm glad they don't, really. I'm definitely glad to be able to use the character I want, though. Also, you can see the wave counter on the far right there in the green. I won't be able to, like, read it while I'm playing, though, so... Keep track at home, kids. Also die. Not you. The monsters. Hey, we got a combo going up. That's not bad. The combo seems to stop at 9. I also haven't been paying attention to the combo thing forever. I blame the higher levels. Just focusing on living. Oh. Well, that would go past me. Yes, haha. <laughs> that feels good. I'm so not used to my uh, leaf power things being so pathetically weak. They disappear in like 10 seconds. They're gone in 10 seconds flat. Bubbles everywhere. Go away, Bubbles. You're not my real friends, Bubbles. Real friends don't shoot me. Not usually. Oh, hello. Oh, ow. That was retarded. Would one of you die? I think they both died. Yes, they did. Shield. Okay, I'm kind of appreciative of the shield and survival stuff.
Okay, there we go. We are on wave 41. You probably knew that better than I did if you're actually paying attention to the wave, though. So halfway there. The easy half, though, so probably more like a fourth of the way there in terms of difficulty. If not length, I don't know. Ow! Crap, that was stupid. You're always supposed to be at the bottom of the screen, pretty much. So I wouldn't venture forth. Unless you want to get hit. Which is generally a bad idea. Okay, you're hard to kill now that I don't have good weapons. Um, go away. Go away. Okay, okay. Oh. And now you go away, just after I get hit. Thanks. It's really helpful. The secondary weapon kind of sucks without, uh, my upgrades. But it'd probably be too easy with it, fully upgraded and such. By the way, if you think this game looks too hard or whatever, uh, remember that I'm playing it while talking and being a moron, which is uh, affecting my ability to play pretty significantly, so... Someone that's not talking and thinking about recording and all of that crap would, of course, play a bit better. Assuming skill levels were equal and all of that crap, of course. Whoa. Okay, okay. There we go. Crisis averted. 61! Getting closer. Oh, timed out. That is something I remember from Gundamonium, the humiliation of having bosses disappear because they time out instead of you being able to actually beat them. Speaking of bosses, I wonder if we're going to have to fight any real bosses or just mini-bosses. Were there even mini-bosses in that last uh, set of worlds? Or were they just the, uh, I guess there was that big robot thing. It's kind of a mini-boss. Hello, bullets. Ow. And we still got 5 HP. It's not bad. Oh, hello! I'm just wondering if there'd be any mini-bosses. Okay, die. Please. Please. Okay, thanks. Whoa. Bullets! Suddenly, difficulty appears. I was not ready for this. Those monolith- oh, whoa. These monolith guys aren't that bad if you, uh, stay calm, though. Especially if you don't have a billion bullets flying everywhere. Oh, it's you again! Okay, maybe you weren't using a bomb- worth using a bomb on, then. I really wonder what wave I'm on. I'm on 71. Well, that's embarrassing. Did I just take a hit while under shield? I don't know. Please die. Oh, I was just about to kill you. Oh! Um, please die now. I do not want to fight you without a shield. We are getting close. Whoa. Oh, I took that hit anyway. 
That's lame. I swear, if I die before it, wait, 80. Oh, hello. Black shrub things. Wave 80! Haha. <laughs> I don't care anymore. And I got a little check mark, so that works. That is how you get, um... It's for the badge Imperishable Player. You have to reach wave 80 in survival, which I just barely did. So I guess that's pretty well balanced. Maybe. And I have to beat these other two, which... I'll be recording after I know how to do them. I assume this is going to be a gargantuan bitch. 